Kamsa Chakra stands between the Vishuddhi and the Agya, as you can see clearly, positioned like that. But from Vishuddhi, there are many nerves which pass through Hamsas and end up here. They don't all go to the brain. Or we can say that at this time, at this point, all our reactions, which are what you call reflex reactions, finish off. So, supposing now I get some dirty smell, I'll close my nose like that. Or if I can't hear, I'll just pull my ears like this. Or if I see something dirty, or if I see something jarring, my eyes will close automatically. If somebody tries to put a pin through me, immediately, I spontaneously, it's all built in within my system and your system too that you react with reflex action. Same thing may not happen to animals. Animals are different. Some animals have certain reflex actions, some have some reflex actions. But we are different and our reflex actions, we are all practically just the same. There's not much individuality. There isn't much difference in our reflex actions. At the most, with conditioning, we, somebody might say, yeah, somebody might say, oh, somebody may say something. That's different. But the reflex actions are just the same. So up to the reflex action, we don't have to use discretion. Then starts our discretion part. As discretion starts when we are using these two nadis, which meet here, without going to the arcade. So when these two nadis meet here, what happens? We start seeing uh, through our experiences. First would be a reflex action, automatic reflex action. The second is when, supposing a child, if you tell the child, now this is hot, don't put your hand there, he won't listen. Put the child with the experience, he will develop reflex actions, the conditionings of it. So thus reflexes are built in within us. Also, they are built in within us with, uh, we should say, with other conditionings like, uh, you see, uh, in a country, supposing there's racialism, or in a country like ours, there's a caste system. Then person react according to what they have learned from childhood. All these conditionings could be of the present day, when you are born. You could have been yourself uh, born in last life in, say, Africa. Today you are born with a white skin, so you have started sort of calling that African, you have become. All these conditionings can be built in, into your Hamsa Chakra, which have come from your uh, training of the mind, you can see the experiences of the mind, the experience of, of the society, of your knowledge, of your education, the way your condition can be built in, yeah, in the Amsa Chakra. And it reacts to things which has no meaning. If you were, hey, I hate someone. Why? Because that person uh, wears a blue jean or something, or you can say a green shirt. Now this is built in your mind. Or sometimes this falling in love also comes from the same kind of a conditioning. Supposing you had a, uh, you had met somebody who had, say, blue eyes and was kind to you. So you have fascination for a person who has blue eyes. There's no pure idea about beauty. There's no pure idea of happiness. There's no pure idea of uh, aesthetics. All is conditioned. For some people, this is beautiful. For somebody, this is not beautiful. So this is the place where these interchanges take place between the, both the nadis. And here, in the hamsa, lies outside the path of Kundalini. They sort of come out here, out of the path of Kundalini. It's very surprising. When the Kundalini moves, she goes from Vishuddhi direct to Agya. Now, how can we improve our 
हम साथ हैं इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज इफ अवर हम सा इससे इज ओवर कंडीशन द कुंडली के नॉट वर्क ऑन इट इट जस्ट गिव सो फॉर हम सा वी यूज ऑल दीज फिजिकल थिंग्स लाइक आई सेट पुट द गी इन द नोज कीप इट इन अ वे दैट इट इज नरिश प्रॉपर्टी बिकॉज कुंडली इफ इट ट्राइज टू टू मच विल हैव प्रॉब्लम problem because as it is most of our time we spend in such a manner that your hamsa uh, things uh, become uh, what you call the epithelial cells the linings become dried up now when the kundalini rises she may try to uh, create a problem more for that dryness maybe so it is kept out but it has an effect in the sense that even if there is a light outside it can fall inside so it's not the kundalini directly that affects your hamsa it is like when the kundalini awakens you yourself see now that a person is whether he is fair complexion or dark complexion he is a human being you reason it out and hamsa clears up then you see yourself that oh i am very egotistical you start seeing yourself through your agya start seeing that i am so conditioned so you reason it out and that's how you correct your conditions this is what is hamsa chakra so hamsa chakra cannot be done if just you are a realized soul but is an effect is the symptom of your kundalini awakening some people think that you develop uh, discretion uh, just as the kundalini rises is it wrong right no that has to be deliberately seen that you build up that discretion within yourself but once it is built for example my discretion is absolute i just know what it is see my conditioning here is absolute is one with the kundalini one with reality but for human beings it has to be reflected by understanding like a child he touches something hot and it is hot now this is hot because it's heated up so you see a child, person is catching on the right heart right he's catching on the right heart means he has got a right heart and he is uh, suffering from such and such thing you have to see it yourself now if you tell the person are you suffering from say asthma he said yes how do you know i know it because i have learnt it through my finger which was burning that's why i know it is but supposing somebody has an asthma and in that place the part your kundalini you will get asthma immediately you see the point the conditioning cannot come to us unless and until it passes through or seeps through our reasoning and understanding are you understand this the the point it cannot work out the reason is it filters your collective consciousness otherwise you go near a person who has aids and you become collectively conscious that he has aids and if you imbibe all that into you as a conditioning you will get it but you are separated like person who reads say uh, there's a very nice story about this jerome has written like one man he went and read materia medica went and told doctor that doctor have all the diseases except for one which is housewife's knee he said how is it you haven't got it because i am not a housewife so he got conditioned into all the diseases that's how many people get diseases but thank god there's a filter if somebody has a disease 
don't get it because you can filter it. But Hansa chakra could be affected by badas. That's one problem. If some bada passes through the nose, you might. Some viruses pass through the nose, you might. Affected means it can get sick. But one must understand the discrimination between the two. Say there's a virus infection outside. It can pass into your uh, amsa chakra and can give you a problem of sinus, this, that, physical. But you won't become like a person who has given you virus infection. So there is a filter. But supposing uh, there's a person who is very hectic and you come in contact with that person, he's very hectic, so your uh, Swadhisthana can take over. You can become hectic with that person. Living with that person, you can become hectic. But as far as the hamsa is concerned, with anybody you live, uh, your hamsa doesn't carry. Uh, the complete impact of that because there's a filter. So now if you have to develop the discretion, you have to learn, you have to understand. It doesn't come automatically. But with children who are born realize their hamsa is so developed that they know it, what is right, what is wrong. Because their hamsa is so much trained, you don't have to use much understanding. But those who are now growing up, have become now such yogis, have to know through their own experiences their hamsa. It's a filter also. But for a child, he knows what is right, what is wrong. Because his hamsa is developed. In India, when the child is born, is massaged nicely. Oiling is the best way to have a good month. Oil his head, oil his body, put kiti uh, dala, uh, put some uh, drops in the nose, everything. They try in the ear, in the nose, and that's how they build up. So, what I have to say that physically you should help your hamsa chakra by using ghee and all that and mentally you should use it by learning things in experience, what to do, how to do it, how to work it out, how to establish. Basa, 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 basa. Basunya. That is how Hamsa Chakra grows and uh, uh, makes you discreet. That's why a tradition is very important. Tradition gives you the growth of the Hamsa Chakra. And then you go on discarding whatever is wrong out of that tradition. Then again you keep whatever is good. You give it to your children, to your children, to your children. So the discretion comes to a person who is traditionally built up better than a person who has no traditions. Now, for example, this morning I was discussing that people take, uh, fill the uh, wash basin and wash their face in the West. In India we cannot conceive of it, cannot even think of it. I mean, people don't know it can be done. Because in traditional way it has come out that if you are washing your face and again the, your water goes into there, then all the dirt is in it, again you are using the same water, so you cannot have complete. So always use running water. Traditionally we have learnt it. So it's so much in our heads, in our discretion, that we cannot even think of such a thing. Simple thing that muladhara must be cleaned and washed. Any Indian you take it, he knows that is because they must have had some problems before. Whether he is in the north, is in the south, east or west, 
asking me. Auspiciousness is another thing. Is, is so much imbibed in the tradition. But if you have a tradition, say, of doing things which are absurd, also you can have traditions like that. Like very primitive people have all kinds of traditions which are very absurd. I was told that if you go to Ladakh, what they do, somebody dies, then keep the hand of the dead person in the house all the time. They think that that helps. But with tradition which is wrong, by discarding that, they will understand it's wrong. So the more traditional you are, the ancient you are, you learn many things. Like we have to say English are in a way traditional. So they, supposing there's a lady coming down and you are coming with a lady, then the man will be in front automatically. He'll just move. But if she's going up, then man will follow her. Just happens automatically. Because traditionally they have learned that if a, you if you are going down, the lady may fall or something, so we should be in front. So what you call as the traditional habits of person uh, gives you this hamsa. And these habits are built better and better with trial and error methods. And that's how you develop it. Now for people who are surgeries, it's much easier to imbibe them. Because if you see something, yes, that's wrong. You should not be finished. But you should be so clear-cut about it, I should determine. It works out. Your answer will be all right. But you tell them ten times, till they'll do the same thing. Then that means that Hamsa is not willing to accept. But you must nourish it, you must look after it, you must as I said, also the kajal is very good for Hamsa chakra. All kajal and the oil uh, in the nose, ears, is very good. All acts for that. Even, say, uh, stalking to other person, to talk discreetly, is to say something which doesn't uh, lose its power of affecting that person. Like if you say something very harsh, then you should know how to neutralize it so that he retains that into himself. All these discussions only come also by tradition. When you find something that is futile, in a collective way, in a tradition, drops out. So the blessings of the tradition is great, but greater are the blessings of your spirit. And the blessings of the spirit are such that through your vibrations immediately you know this is wrong. But you have to be honest about it and you just give up. You want to ascend, you want to improve your vibrations, so for that whatever is needed you will do.